Hello and welcome to the Super Epic Game Week 21 Preview! I ain't got much time to make this video, so crack it, Nathan Bacon is coming out. So first we have the Game Week 19 Review, then the Game Week 20 Review, but if you can just skip here if you just want to watch the Game Week 21 Preview. First predictions, exactly right, as expected. I get them all right. Kane and Ali smacking them in. Villa, Norwich, 1-0. Why though? That's not what I said. Pookie is dead. Bournemouth won, Arsenal won, which is exactly what I predict the McKay did, so I officially won. Arteta starting off, air Teta for now. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Playing the Southampton side that didn't even start their top goal scorer, and they lost 2-0. Lampard out, Kante next manager. All the legends, keep them going. Crystal Palace West Ham. Jordan Ayew, or sorry, I mean Messi, scoring an absolute sexy goal to win it. I don't think anyone can disagree on me with that one. Ancelotti, Ed Button, Sean Dyche into the ground with a 1-0 for his first game in charge. Sheffield United not beating Watford. Wait, wait, are Watford like suddenly Real Madrid now? What's going on? Like, I always knew Troy Deeney was the best Ronaldo replacement, but like, come on. Man United 4. Wait. Man United scored four goals. What the heck in frick? Like, what happened to Shelby Lord? He's supposed to protect Newcastle. <laughs> Finishing with Liverpool beating the team in second, 4-0 away from home. Well, congratulations, Liverpool, on your first ever Premier League. You finally did it. With my team ending on this, 41 points, which is below the average of 49. But to have, remember when I, uh... Kind of sold Trent and Martial like one week ago. And this week they kind of had um, 39 points between just them two. Meaning them two players had only two less points than my entire team combined. I like it. But you know what? Captain Blank, Daddy Ings didn't even start. And Vardy just chilling. So I'm kind of okay with that score. Could have been a lot worse. But my rank did drop from 187k down to 279k. But no problem. I got this, lads. And now onto the Game Week 20. Review! Now I said I didn't actually think Brighton Bournemouth was going to finish 1-0. I said one team would probably win. So 100% predictions right here still. Wait, uh, what's that? Newcastle 1, Everton 2. I got it exactly right again. Mr. Lottery Monopoly over here. I think I just spat on my screen. Oops. <laughs> Daddy Ing scoring, but not quite showing enough daddy powers to quite get the win. So it ended one all here. Watford Madrid showing again why D should go to Juventus for under mil this summer. What a player. I always knew it. Norwich doing really well to almost beat Spurs, but then Spurs also doing really well to still look like Spurs. In a two-all draw. Leicester's third team managing to sack Mr. West Ham, but you know what? It's completely forgiven on Leicester because the Lord... David Moyes is back. Yes, lads, the best Christmas presents always come later. Man United actually beating and breaking down a team that sits back? What? I told you that rest in Magaluf would help Tony Martial. He is very good player now. Arteta showing a bit of, ah, Teta. And also still a bit of, uh, we're kind of still shy, sad Teta. While they almost won, and then uh, Mustafi sponsored their loss. Champions of Europe, champions of the world but not champions of England and partly Wales when Swans get back up to the Prem. But they are probably finally going to win and be the champions of the Premier League. Like, GG lads, you deserve it. I'm finishing off with another De Bruyne masterclass. How can a ginger Belgium that turns peachier the more he runs be the best player when he's not even trying? 2-0 it was. With my team that week looking like this. No transfers were made. But with half of the players in the entire league having to watch the game in ice parts instead, with games literally being 48 hours after, a few players were moved and auto subbed around, so it wasn't quite what I thought would start, but is what we had. So we actually ended up with 64 points, somehow, with the players that actually played doing quite well. Captain Daddy Ings with a goal and all the bonus. Oh, money, money with a goal and all the bonus. Then Kevin, lad, spoiling us even more with a goal and an assist with all the bonus. So not a bad performance from my team at all, which was such a weird game week. Like some people had less than 10 after Saturday games. And then some people are ending in the 80s and 90s with only eight players playing. What? So I had a small boy green arrow, like not quite a Shrek green arrow, from 279k to 255k in the end. So still so tight up the top. Like I am only 29 points off top 100k, and then only 79 points off top 10k, but then I'm only 60 points ahead of 1 million. So there is less than 100 points between 1 millionth and 100k right now. 
That's how close it is. But we gotta keep pushing and pushing like my team is pregnant. Let's get that number one, baby. So now we finally move on to the Gaming 21 preview, which is also a um three, two, one. Happy New Year! Way. Brighton hosts Chelsea in the first game of 2020. Now, some New Year's resolutions for me, if I were some of these players, would be um Abraham to go down the Brighton pier at half time and help himself to an ice cream. And also Aaron Moy to get an air cut before the game. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling a one-all. And you know what? I'm kind of feeling my voice going as well. I like it. Burnley Villa. Now that's an exciting game, right? It's canny wait. One all with Grealish and Ashley Barnes fighting it to the death. The Newcastle's falling down with Leicester's actual first team really wanting to come back. Vardy with a new baby bounce hat trick it is. Also Madison sitting down Shelby for his wedges. Southampton Spurs. Daddy Ings is bossing it lately and Spurs have just... Having a giggle on it, yeah, having some fun. But I think this will be a very spine tickling 3 2 game. Kane with more on goals than goals in this game, I bet you. Watford Madrid play the Wolves next, where even though I don't think the Wolves will eat them alive, I think they will have a little nibble on Cristiano Dini's arm be before he scores, but then still losing 2 1. Pep Guardiola versus Ancelotti. This could be a lot of fun, maybe even a lot of goals. But I think De Bruyne is going to tear them another one, 2 1, but could easily not be 2 1. Wow, mind blowing stuff. Norwich Crystal. Crystal Palace could be 4 0, could be 0 0. So for now, it will be 0 0. Zaha, not even in the team, as he's going to be on his way to join another club. David Moise, he's back way. Could be back with a bang, but for now, only a 1 0 draw. Fellaini coming back, signing him literally 10 minutes before the game, coming on and scoring. Ah, Tata versus Ole Ole Ole. Battle of Club Legends, where this game could be legendary itself. And it is actually really hard to say who gets the job done here. So, two all for now with um, Mustafi and Wambasaka to score. I'm feeling optimistic, all right? I'm finishing off the game week with the champions that aren't the champions yet, but still champions, Liverpool. They play Sheffield United at home, and you know what? I think they're just going to have that killer momentum now, roll on through, destroy everyone in the way. So, sorry, Sheffield, 2-0. So that is all my predictions for the week. Now, Game Week 21 is a special one because not only is it a new year, happy new year. The second wild card is here. Wait, hey, new year, new team? Nah, not for me. Not yet. But I have actually taken a minus four already with three transfers to make my team a little bit more fresh, you know? Like so, some of my players were starting to get a bit mouldy around my team, so got to freshen it up. So my team is now this. So as you can see, I now have Trent back, where I've done a very, very good job of selling players right before they hold <coughs> De Bruyne literally three weeks ago. But I now finally have Raul Jimenez in my team. I've been looking to get in the Mexican man over the border into my team for a while now, but I haven't had the chance to do it. So as soon as I saw the chance, I took it, just like they took the four points away from me to make it do it. But you know what, with my team now, that is fine. Also getting in Cantwell to strengthen the bench because we love all the bench points. Now this move did involve me getting rid of Rico, Musse, and unfortunately Richarlison. Yes, getting rid of Richarlison with those Everton fixtures and with Ancelotti. Don't worry lads, it's fine, no panic. But now we're gonna look through the team and their fixtures. Pope man gets the head for now, playing Villa at home, which I am rather confident for a clean sheet year, uh, until someone like Engels goes and scores goals in the 80th minute, but at least much more likely than Ryan against Chelsea, where Chelsea usually get aroused away from home, so let him have it. Trent is back and never going ever again. Sheffield United at home could be another clean sheet for Liverpool. Like, of course, I don't have him for two weeks and then they get two clean sheets in a row. But all the attacking returns he probably won't get for a while now and then eventually get them back when everyone's doubting him. But he's going to get some this week, easy. Sayunchu plays Newcastle away. Could be a clean sheet again here. But you know what? Feeling a 40-yard screamer for the Turkish lad. It's coming. Now, the final defender spot is between Lundstrom, Baldock and probably not Kelly, but also Kelly. Now, the headache with my team now is that I might have to bench at least one of Sionchu, Lundstrom or Bulldog every week. But you know what? With their cheap prices, I'm okay with that. I don't mind that at all. Lundstrom will probably go in ahead of Bulldog in harder fixtures just so the other one can get more points in the bench. But you know what? Lord can keep his place for now because I want my team to be holy. Okay? Now moving on to the absolute source of my team, this front seven. Oh, yes. Surely can't fail ever. Right? Oh, Mane Mane, the Belgian Prince, Bamadele Alley, James One Fade Madison, absolute banger Jamie Vardy, Jimenez for that Mexican spice, and finishing it off with my daddy. Damn, son. Yes, please. Thank you. I love it. 
Mane plays Sheffield United at home where he probably will now get less points than Salah this week. Only joking, of course Mane's going to get more. Bang again, easy goals, easy bonus, easy points, easy out of breath. De Bruyne is on fire so much lately, his hair is actually starting to turn bright red. Everything at home isn't easy for most, but most people aren't called Kevin. He's got it. Ali with Southampton away where they aren't the best at keeping clean sheets. And Ali is still a great option for now, even with all the other Spurs players missing, so that is great. Madison now has a great run where he can hopefully whip in some of his balls for Vardy and get all the points again. Vardy's been banging so much this season, he's just had a kid. Congrats, Vardy. Oh, Jamie Ladd, let's celebrate that with an act-trick. Yeah, thanks. Jimenez enters my team for the first ever time this season. I'm actually really sad to admit that, but, but better later than ever, I guess. Even if he blanks, which he obviously won't against Watford away, I will keep patience with him and he will get me all the points. So Raul will rule. Finishing with Daddy Ings. Spurs are home for him with their defences proper wibbly-wobbly. So maybe even more goals gifted to him and then he can give me all the points for a late Christmas gift again. Now this lineup means I have a pretty strong bet with Ryan, Camwell, Bulldog and Kelly U. So very good for rotation and the possible cry fest where my entire bench gets more points than my entire team. Or maybe bench boost. Hmm, well, definitely not this week, but maybe another time. Hmm. But actually, the first double game week of the season has been announced with Liverpool and West Ham having two games each in game week 24. This could be very, very saucy. I'm not quite sure how and what I'm going to do yet, but would I be wrong in being very, very tempted to play a free hit to get in triple Liverpool and triple West Ham so I don't have to mess up my team as much but I still get the maximum out of it I don't know maybe maybe I don't know but right now this is the happiest I've been with this team like look how big this smile is but that's all I have for today thanks for watching and remember <laughs> don't be a cheeky scrub subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now <laughs>